Now, I wanted to get your thoughts, Pauline, on what the Nationals and the Greens are talking about. That is beefing up the ACCC powers to, to give them the power to force Coles and Woolies to divest of some assets if they're caught out and refuse to make changes when uh, either gouging prices or shafting farmers. Do you think that this is worth looking at? Look, what assets are they talking about, wanting them to divest? I've been talking about Coles and Wool Woolies back in, what, 25 years ago, that they had 85% share of the market share at that time. I don't think it's as much as that now, but 85% at that time. And I was talking about the share that they had. They've allowed Woolies to expand into insurance and pet insurance and uh, car insurance. And over the period of time, what they've done is they've They've got given people the reason why they should go and shop there but because of the point scheme. And what I've always been concerned about, if Woolies takes on more of the pharmaceutical lines, you know, what chemists do, or the news agents, we've allowed them to build to this extent and control. Then there's land banking that Coles and Woolies do. So they actually know where development's going to happen. They bought the land and then they've allowed them to move this far ahead. Look, Chris... We have to have this investigation and, yes, the price gouging, yes, what the farmers are paid for the produce to go into bullies, that needs to be addressed. And it's the same as my dairy bill. You've got to pay the farmers a decent farm gate price for their produce, for their product, for their milk or whatever, and the government and the National Party knock that back. We've got to look after the farming sector, make sure they get a fair price for their for their produce and don't allow coals or bullies to stand over the top of them. And in contracts, Chris, they've been offered 25 cents for a cauliflower and then at the time they're only giving them 19 or 18 cents and the, and the farmer has to plough them into the ground. That should not be allowed. Yeah, but this is all about giving the ACCC more muscle, heavier penalties uh, uh, to hold over the head of them to try and get them to play ball a little bit more easily. I, well, I agree with that. Yes, they do. Mm. I think they do need to do that. All right, we'll have a look at see how that bill goes. I want to get you on electricity prices. Let's have a look at this question from Angie Bell, uh, the LNP in Parliament today, focusing on electricity prices and South East Queensland. In the last two years, electricity bills in South East Queensland have increased by up to $622. The Minister repeatedly promised to cut prices by $275 a year, yet in South East Queensland, Labor has fallen short of its election commitment by up to $897. If the Minister can't guarantee this reduction, will he admit that he was wrong and apologise to struggling Australian families? Yeah, I said last night, Pauline, that uh, on average, uh, Labor is $1,000 a household behind where it promised to be on power prices. Is this really biting, A, in people's you know, budgets, in their lifestyles, but also politically? Definitely. Definitely. Yes, it is, Chris. Um, as I've said all along, it's not just only households, but you're looking at businesses as well. So a lot of business, and I went to one business, and this was a few years ago, and the increased power prices was, was $200,000 a year. Now, they make springs and they send to 55 countries around the world. They've put on a million dollars worth of their own solar panels trying to cover their costs, but still their costs went up $200,000. That was about three or four years ago. I hate to imagine what it is now. And that company, I met them only last couple um, a couple of months ago, they said they're considering now moving overseas. So we're losing a lot of industries and manufacturing to go into overseas countries because of the escalating power prices. I think it will, will hurt, but uh, Chris Bowen, absolutely useless, doesn't know what he's doing. Um, he needs to go. And they're on this trajectory that it's going to be our way, we're going to do it our way, you're going to suffer, but hopefully we think that down the track it'll get cheaper. It's Maybe a joke. Then. It won't get cheaper. It no, won't get cheaper. Power it will prices not. Keep going up. It will not. We'll have an expert advice on that later in the program. Thanks for joining us, Pauline. I appreciate it. Pauline Hanson there, live from Canberra.